celebrated as a hard-nosed player. Oh. Max Rook was often in the thick of the action. He ended his career a two-time premiership hero, but the effects of concussion have been life-changing. It's incredibly difficult to live with these adverse effects that just aren't who you really are at your core. Rook claims he suffered permanent injuries due to concussion and negligence of the AFL. He's the lead plaintiff in a class action lodged in Victoria's Supreme Court today. You have these otherwise strapping, fit-looking blokes who might be crying in front of you within a few minutes of talking to them. It's absolutely devastating. Dozens of former players are expected to seek compensation. It's likely to be close to a billion dollars. We haven't been um, served or seen any action uh, any uh, papers from the lawyers, we will assess that when it comes through like we would with any claim. Hours before the action was lodged, the AFL committed to a new plan to tackle the problem. The strategy includes up to $25 million for a long-term brain health study, more education for community football and a bigger hardship fund for injured players. What we're looking to do with the long-term study, which will be over a minimum of 10 years, um, with a big investment from the AFL, is to follow the players from the from the pathway when they enter our system all the way through their career and post their career. But experts say the AFL must recognise the link between head knocks and degenerative brain disease. This is a really important differentiation and a big step that the AFL will need to take if they're going to move on in this issue truly and improve the safety of their athletes. A big step on an issue that's fast becoming a major headache for the AFL. Tom Maddox, ABC News, Melbourne.